Hey Paige, you left your trophy upstairs. Can you put it away with the other ones, please? Hmm? First place, eh? I bet I could beat you. You want to spar, Dad? Uh, I got time to teach you a thing or two. Aren't you going to get your helmet, Dad? I don't need a helmet. I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. I trained at Rex Kwondo. Bruce Lee lived in Washington State. I lived in Washington State. And Mr. Miyagi is my great uncle. Okay. Three point match? Let's do it. Okay, on the count of three, I'll say one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay, I didn't want to ruin your self esteem. So I let you have a point. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Stop. Grab my arm. The other arm. My other arm. Now watch this. Break the wrist, walk away. Really? That's it? That's it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Disney special right here. Come back. Now you're really going to learn a lesson right here. Ready? Three, two, one. Do you ever feel like life beats you up? Do you ever struggle feeling like you're weak? Maybe during this time, it feels like you're being defeated or conquered. But I want you to know that you can have victory. That you can be prepared for victory. You know, in the clips that you just saw, you saw a difference between my daughter Paige and me. Because Paige had equipment and I didn't. She was more humble, and I had this attitude of arrogance, depending on what I thought I could do. She trains every day in her karate, and I may look like I know karate, but I really don't know very much. And she has a sensei that's a world champion training her, whereas I don't have that training. You see, that's the same thing spiritually. When we look to Christ as our sensei, when we're willing to train ourselves daily in God's word, when we're willing to humble ourselves and to be equipped, then when bad things happen, when hardship happens, we can stand it. You know, one of the things the Bible tells us to do is to be strong, but not strong by our own power and by our own will, but to be strong in the Lord. And the Bible tells us how we can be strong and how we should be equipped. And if we are willing to equip ourselves with these things, then it helps us to overcome the hard times in our lives, the struggles in our lives, so that we will not feel or be defeated, but instead be victorious. And not just victorious, but victorious in Christ. In Ephesians chapter 6, starting in verse 10, going through verse 18, it says this, Finally, be strong in the Lord, in the strength of his might, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand it in the evil day. And having done all to stand firm, Stand therefore, having fastened to the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and then take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints you see this is an easy time where satan's trying to discourage your faith trying to discourage your spiritual life cause you to ask where is god in all this but this is the time where we stand this is the time when we pray this is when we are equipped with the armor of god and we look to Christ for his strength. 
where we will be victorious. Instead of faltering in faith, we're going to rise up in faith. Instead of being weak, we're going to be strong. So don't be defeated. Claim the victory today. Be equipped with the armor of God.